In this video, we're just going to briefly go over how to create projects and things to take into consideration when you are creating a project in the Unreal Engine. So starting back in the Epic Games Launcher, we're going to go ahead and go down to Unreal Engine and we're going to navigate back to your library. For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and just launch the game engine. If you do begin a project and save it, it will eventually appear down here. However, we're going to go through the process of creating a brand new project. So I'm going to go ahead and launch our, pro our Unreal Editor. For most of this course, you're going to be working with the Games option here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one as far as the category and say Next. When you are working with the Game options, you actually have several different types of templates you can choose from. Probably some of the big ones that we will be working with in this class include the blank, the first person, the third person, and the virtual reality. However, we will also talk about some of the others. A note on blank. The pro to this is that nothing is installed. The engine will just put in the bare bones minimum and you will be able to add all of your assets and actors that you would like to from external to the program. The biggest con to this, however, is if you want to add player controls or player movements, you're either going to have to import them from either the first or third person project as far as the blueprints go, or you're going to have to develop them from scratch. For demonstration's sake, I'm going to go ahead and actually select first person for this demo, just so that we can kind of tie the two together and you can actually see a template in place. So I'm going to go ahead and say next. Now, before we go through the actual settings here, I want to draw your attention down to the bottom here where it says folder and name. You are going to want to select a location here as far as where you want to store your project. For me, for example, I have a specific location on my D drive that is just for Unreal projects. The name of the project is going to become the folder for the project. So I'm going to call this demo FPS project. Lastly, you have the project settings that you can preset before you actually create your project. A note on this, many of these can be changed in the project settings after you have made the project if you change your mind. First off, you're going to choose whether you want to create a Blueprint or C++ project. For right now, we're going to go ahead and leave this at the default of the Blueprint. Next, you have to choose your performance characteristics of your project you're not going to see huge differences between maximum quality and scalable 3D or 2D. However, I want to point out this is an area here that if you have a lower end computer, scalable 3D or 2D can be an excellent choice here. Also, you have your ray tracing uh, that depending on your computer, you may want to just disable this right as you begin the project. Next up, you have what pat platforms you are going to be targeting. This is something that can be changed later in the project, so for right now, I'm just going to leave this on the desktop console. I'm not going to switch over to mobile tablet. Lastly, depending on and as you continue on, you may not want to have the starter content included into your project settings. It's going to add a little bit of bulk to your file size, but also, too, uh, you may not even be using any of the assets. You can choose to import these at a later point in time. However, since we're just starting out, we are going to leave the starter content in place. Once you have those settings determined, you can go ahead and just choose to create project. Unreal is going to think for a second, and then you should get this window showing as far as the loading of the actual project here. Depending on your computer, this can take a little longer than others, and now you are actually in your environment to start working on your gaming project. Lastly, for this video, if you need to, as I was talking about earlier, if you go under the Edit drop-down menu and you go to Project Settings, you can see that you actually have a lot of options that you can actually change specifically focusing on the project where you can come in and choose, for instance, supported platforms if you wanted to tweak as far as your platforms. You can even change as far as all of the other options, including things such as uh, editor, landscapes, as far as coming under the engine itself. 
you can also come in and specifically for specific platforms work and change your edits as well. So that's it as far as creating a project.